Hello and welcome to um, our second tutorial for editing text in your um, templates. I am using the Glamour uh, magazine template for this tutorial and I'm on page 18 and 19. Um, I'm going to show you how to change um, the text in the footer and headlines and body copy. And we're going to also change fonts and colors for this tutorial. Um, the primary tool you'll be using for this particular uh, part of the tutorial is the type tool. And if you go over to your, your tools panel in Photoshop, and you'll see this little T icon, just click on that, and that will uh, select the type tool. A couple of the panels that you'll need to have open are swatches, history panel, in case you, need, you made a mistake and you need to go back a few steps. Um, the paragraph tool um, for aligning text, um, the layers panel, um, and the character panel. This is where you're going to be changing your fonts. Um, I also have in the layers panel a couple of different uh, drop-down uh, folders indicating um, right and left page and footer I have on a separate or in a separate folder. Um, the footer is at the very very bottom of the um, template and it's just on the border of the safe area of um, where you want to keep your text within so anything else outside of here has a possibility of getting uh, trimmed off so I like to keep a safe area which is about I think this one is about half an inch uh, and no less than a quarter of an inch away from the edge of your documents on any document that is from business cards to magazines it doesn't matter it needs to have that it needs to have text contained within that safe area um, when I click on the type tool and I move it into the template a little cursor appears and I'm going to click on just some text here and it will activate my text box and I have a bounding box for my text box which contains all the text within this bounding box so that text doesn't go over the side. If I were to just use the type tool to um, and randomly just make some text and I just click in an area and start typing, um, that text is actually going to go over the edge of the page and you probably can't see it so I'm going to select it and make it black so that you can see that there. The text is going to run off the page and you're going to be moving it around trying to chase that text and trying to find it. So the best thing to do is actually create a text box using the type tool. Click it and drag it across your document. I'm keeping mine within this safe area right here. And it automatically creates a text bounding box for you. And when you start typing in some text, you'll notice that it just stays within that box and doesn't go off the edge of the page. This is the best way to, um, to make paragraphs of text or even just a headline and it's going to be really really large a really really large font and you want to keep it within a certain area best thing to do is create a text box for that for that text we're going to delete this because we don't need it this is just for demonstration only and I'm gonna again select on the type tool and select my text now I want to change the color of the headline if you have your swatch panel open you can um, select any of these colors here to use for your templates if you have um, if you use a very basic color, um, a solid bright color or a, a pastel or any sort of gray or black color, it's pretty much all in here. Very, you know, a lot of options here to choose from. You can also sample. So if I'm actually start with actually showing you what it looks like, I'm just going to select a random color here in a swatch and deselect off that text so you can see that it changes it to whatever color swatch you pick. Um, selecting that text again, you can change it to another color. And um, it it switch from from the swatch panel. If you have a specific color that you're using for your logo, and I happen to have mine open in another fold um, another tab, you can use the eyedropper tool to um, sample that text from your logo. So just click on the eyedropper tool. It literally looks like an eyedropper. And if I hover over it, it'll show you the name of the eyedropper tool. Click on that, move over to your logo, and select that color. And in the foreground um, swatch of the toolbox, it will then change that color um, for you, the one that we just selected. Go back into your template, use your type tool, select that text. I'm actually going to select all of it. And use the um, switch foreground and background arrows. Click that twice, because if you click it once, it'll change it white. If you click it back, it'll change it to the foreground color. And there you go. Now you change the color of your text to the color of your logo. 
Um, there's other, there's a lot of other ways that you can change text, or sorry, change color and add color to uh, Photoshop. But I wanted to just show you the very easiest and most basic ways to do it uh, so that you can move along and finish editing your text. If you're a graphic designer, you can add Pantone colors, what have you. Um, it's really not that necessary <laughs> to learn that. But if you really want to, I can make another tutorial that shows you how to um, add Pantone colors. So moving on, um, I actually want to change the fonts of um, this template. Um, all of my fonts will uh, come with a set of uh, fonts that I chose for the design, but the fonts will not be included in the download because all fonts are copy or most fonts are copyrighted, and um, the particular fonts I use have to be purchased in order to use them. You are welcome to go ahead and do that. I like to uh, go to fonts.com or myfonts.com and, and purchase fonts from there. This particular one, if you go over to the character panel, will tell you that it's a Vinar Lite, and that font is probably about $35 to $45 depending on where you're purchasing it from. That Just that particular font, a Vinar Lite. If you buy the entire Vinar family, it could cost you $1,000. So I only use a Vinar Lite. You only need to buy that particular font for this particular for this template. Or if you want to use a font that matches your um, logo or branding, you can do that. If you happen to have any fonts, any those fonts on your computer, use them. If you just want to use a font from your computer system, keep it simple, you can do that. Um, select the text, go to the character panel, click on the drop down menu, and I'm going to go ahead and select a different font. I am going to choose Adobe Castellan regular. And it changes it to a completely different font, which changes the look of this. I think it looks absolutely cool like this. It kind of gives it that old magazine feel. Um, and again, you could change the color of that if you wanted to, to something completely different, to dark brown, to a red if you wanted to, or you can just select the body copy and change that color separately from the headline which is a pretty fun little feature in Photoshop. You don't have to create two different text boxes to have different color text within the same text box. Pretty fun. And I'm um, just going to leave that text there by deselecting um, in the text by clicking on the Move tool and then clicking on the Text tool again. And you can select the text in the footer. I have them separated by left and right page so that you can change the number of the page if you needed to if you're adding if you're duplicating your pages and you're going beyond the amount that I have within the template, you can always um, duplicate, copy, and um, make more pages. Just make sure you change the page numbers in there. So say you want to change it to page 20, okay, and then 21, click on. Um, so what I did is I used my type tool to select that text, and then I clicked on the move tool again to deselect it, and type tool again to select the other part of the text. Oops. And I just messed up, so now I'm going to use my history panel to go back a couple of paces um, because undo did not, um, was not going back far enough, or hit command Z that is, and I'm going to select that text and type in 21. And again you can change the, um, let me zoom in on here so you can see this a little bit better. Alright. Um, you can select this text and change the font as well. So we already know that um, we picked Adobe Castle on, so you can actually go into your character panel and type it in. Adobe Castle on regular. Okay, and we can change the color by going into our swatch panel and just clicking on a color. So now we change the font and the font style and the color of that text. And change the name. Oh, oh yeah, we can change the name too. <laughs> we change the number. Um, so again, just selecting that type tool, selecting the text where it says your studio name, and just type in your name. Mine is Shauna Lofi Portraits. And say I want the text for the name to be different than the number. Um, I just select the text, the the name of my studio, and go over to my swatch panel and change the color. So now I have purple text and pink number. And I'm hitting command zero to zoom back out or you can go to view to um, fit on screen or zoom in or zoom out. Um, okay, so that is that is it. That is the very basics of editing text in the template. Um, I also want to show you one more um, 
text editing and it's on the um, a different page for this template. Let me open that up. And it has just like a huge headline on here. Um, I have this text on three different lines. And so it says love and celebrate who you are right now. And then you need to select these, te this, these text, lines of text, sorry, individually to change them. And the same rules apply to changing the color. You just need to select that text, change that color to anything that you want it to be. And you can also change the fonts for these as well. <clears throat> This font, um, also uh, not included in the template, is called Bickham Script Pro. Um, I believe that's also about $35 to $45 on whichever font founder you choose to purchase it on. Um, again, you can change this font to anything that you have on your computer. If you have another script font in um, uh, loaded on your computer already, you can choose that. Um, let's go to, I have it in Bickham Script Pro now, so I'm going to select uh, Cardiff. And it's a very similar font to um, to the script that I had before. Uh, let's try Carpenter. It makes it completely different. This is a, a font that I don't use very often. It's really difficult to read, but it's to demonstrate that the difference between the 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 font itself, how it got a lot wider. Let me go back a couple of paces so you can see that. You see how right now is actually about if. Do you see that the font um, is about, or the, the first part of the R is about two or three inches away from the edge of that paper? That's because this particular font is a little more narrow. So when I change it, and I'm going to go back into my history panel to, the, to that last action. When I change it to Carpenter, which is a much wider font, it actually pushes that text over. So you want to keep the text within that safe area. Right now we're over the safe area. I would actually use the Move tool and just move this text over. And I'm trying to keep it... Um, about where it's not covering any of the text on the a line above it. So just place it in a nice little area where it's it's just not too um, overwhelming for the font above it, but it still has a good little buffer between the edge of the paper and it keeps it within that safe area. Um, again, I don't really recommend this particular font because one, it's kind of hard to read, but it was just for the purposes of demonstrating to um, how different fonts will change the size and and design and layout of the template. So you need to just adjust accordingly um, whenever you're using a font. So that's it. That is pretty much what you need to know, um, the very basics of editing the text um, with the type tool for uh, Photoshop. So um, go on to the next tutorial. We're going to talk about how to prepare your files for print and cropping your um, spreads, which is these two pages, um, eight and a half by eleven, and for, I'm sorry, <laughs> eight and a half by eleven to eleven by seventeen spreads. So we're gonna have to prep this file for printing. So I'm gonna show you how to crop those pages.